Hello everyone, my name is Mayur Gohil. Today I am continuing with my lecture series on Laplace transforms. Let us see today first shifting theorem of Laplace transform. Sometimes this first shifting theorem is also known as first shifting property and it doesn't matter. The name does not affect the statement at all. Let us see. The statement is if Laplace of f of t is equal to phi of s, then Laplace of e to the power minus a t f of t is nothing but phi of s plus a. We are going to have a look at the proof of this statement. We are given this information Laplace of f of t is equal to phi of s. By this time, I have already introduced you several times the definition of Laplace transforms. I introduce it to you once more. The definition is Laplace of f of t is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Now, here the one of the most crucial observation one is supposed to make that this integral is represented by phi of s. Okay, because if you see the only parameter, everything is when you are integrating over here, it is everything is with respect to t. But I had told you in my first video lecture that whenever we solve this integral, we get our answer in terms of s. So, this answer is represented by phi of s. Now, if you consider this integral, this integral has a parameter in the in power of e and that is over here. So, whatever is with t and after minus sign, it is going to be represented here. If you observe this carefully, that is phi of s over here. That is why you are having phi of s. That is this s, this s and this s matches. So, we are going to have this as a one observation over here. Now, in order to find this Laplace, we or again use the definition. So, what is the definition then? Laplace of e to the power minus a t f of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t times e to the power minus a t f of t dt. Okay, that's straightforward with the help of the definition. Now, since the bases are same, you can always add the indices and simplify further you obtain this. Okay, now as we made an observation over here that whatever is between minus and t, that is this s is what is carried over here phi of s to represent this integral. If you now observe this integral is again same 0 to infinity yes it is there in the definition f of t is again there in the definition dt exists again and now here what you have over here in e power is minus yes and t again and so in between minus and t what exists is s plus a so if i want to represent this integral in terms of phi i would have to represent it as phi of s plus a so in short what it is telling you is nothing but whenever if you are multiplying to the function e to the power minus a t, your original Laplace is having this effect. That is, s is replaced by s plus a. This is what is first shifting theorem. And it's a very short proof, but a very important one. Let us see a corollary to this. The corollary says, if Laplace of e to the power a t Oh, sorry. If Laplace of f of t is phi of s, then what is given is Laplace of e to the power a t times f of t is nothing but phi of s minus a. So, you just have to replace minus a by a and then it is done. It's easy and okay. So, let us see the next property. The next property is scaling property. It has this following statement. If Laplace of f of t is phi of s, 
then Laplace of f of a t is equals to 1 upon a times p of s upon a. I leave the uh, proof for the viewer. It's very easy. In the similar manner, you have to proceed using the definition of Laplace, then using definition for of Laplace for f of a t, then using a substitution as say a t is equals to m, and then by little bit calculation, you get this answer. Let us see a question how to solve this. If Laplace of f of t is equal to 1 upon s times s square plus 1, then we are expected to find this Laplace. Let us see ahead how to go. Okay, so whenever we are going to start, we are going to use this given information. Whatever is given to us, we use it. Laplace of f of t is this. In order to find this, the first question that comes to your mind, which Laplace we are going to use because f of 2t is available with me. I am aware because I am aware now to find f, how can I find Laplace of f of 2t. I am also aware but where to start with. So one suggestion is here that you can simplify the function if possible. Otherwise you should try to start with the rightmost function. There is no such common rule that you should start always with the rightmost function, but it is preferred to right start with. Sometimes there are functions we will see in which you can simplify and then use an easy version and then you can go ahead. So I here right now I am going to start with Laplace of f of 2t. What is the Laplace of f of 2t? Let us see. Okay, now this given Laplace I am calling by phi of s. Okay, Laplace I am going to call it phi of s. So by scaling property, what do I get f of 2t? Because if you observe, compare this Laplace of f of 2t with this, I get 1 upon 2 phi of s upon 2. So this is what I am going to get. Now if I simplify and this is phi of s upon 2, right? So here in this phi of s, I am supposed to replace every s by s upon 2. So what I get is this. On simplifying further, what I am going to get is 1 upon s times 4 upon s squared plus 4. Okay, I am done. Now what I am supposed to do ahead because my question is asking to solve for Laplace of e to the power minus t times f of 2t. Okay, so let us see how to go ahead. Okay, I am calling this Laplace of f of 2t is equals to psi of s right now. Let us see. Now, if we recall first shifting theorem, it said the following statement, right? This was the main result of that. Now, if you compare this, it is saying you have to go psi of s plus 1 because now where I am going to take care of e to the power minus t, I am going to take care over f of 2t. I am not going to take care over f of t. I am going to take care e of e to the power minus t effect on f of 2t. So the change will happen in this Laplace psi of s and thus by first shifting theorem I will have every s in psi of s replaced by s plus 1. So finally this would be my answer. Okay, what I would like to make a note over here is that if you observe, it is first you go for phi of s and then you go on having another function psi of s and then the final answer. So this is like a chain that is followed. So I request you to go through it carefully. Okay, so please observe it carefully and then solve. Thank you. That's it for today.